Hello everyone and welcome back once again to the channel. I hope you are all having a fantastic day so far. Today we will be taking a thorough look at one of the newest freeware additions to Microsoft Flight Simulator, the native A330-900. This aircraft was released just a couple of weeks ago on FlightSim.2 and it is the second A330 that has been made for the sim, the first one being the Project Megapack A330-300. In today's video I will be giving my honest thoughts on the native A330 and how my experience has been with it with this aircraft so far. I'll also talk a bit about the bugs that I've encountered and what I think should be improved to make the experience even better. Normally I'm far from involved with freeware aircraft, I just have a very high standard when it comes to the aircraft that I fly and for me personally most freeware aircraft are just not worth my time since they offer very little quality in my opinion. But with this aircraft I decided to give it the benefit of the doubt and actually test it. And I find the native A330 to be quite a decent freeware aircraft. As you would expect it is still a work in progress since it was released only weeks ago. So the developer of this aircraft still has his work cut out for him. But I do believe in time this will be a great addition to everyone's hangar. Very quickly before we continue with this review, if you're new here, be sure to do a touch and go on that subscribe button along with the bell icon so you never miss out on any new content. If you liked the video, also don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. All of those things help out the channel a tremendous amount. We just recently passed 500 subs and we are well on the way to 1000, so thanks to all the people who support my channel. You guys are absolutely awesome. Now without any further delay, let's get right to it. So to start off, we'll take a look at the exterior model of this beautiful looking aircraft. Before I downloaded this add-on, I wasn't really that big of a fan of the A330 for some reason. But seeing this aircraft in the sim has definitely changed that for me. As I do think the A330 is a very nice looking bird. And those large engines look very nice on it as well. As for the texturing of the model itself, the native A330 definitely meets my standards for what a flight simulator add-on should be. The more perceptive people among us will probably see some spots that are not as great in terms of texturing, but I personally was never the type of person to care that much about the exterior texturing as far as it isn't obvious from far away. Sure, if you get up close and personal with this aircraft and try to count every screw on the fuselage, then you will see some flaws in the textures. But overall, I would say the developer of this add-on has done a great job, both with the textures and the shape of the airframe. The only spot that uh, needs some work in my opinion are the wings, in particular the flaps. Not really sure what it is, but it just seems like they should look a bit more worn out or something like that. Moving on to the sounds, I think the aircraft sounds pretty amazing, especially during engine start. The low tone of the engine when it's pulling up is so nice to hear. It would be even nicer if the sounds during takeoff would be a bit louder in the cockpit, but that might just be the realism of this add-on since modern aircraft come with better sound isolation and all of that than older aircraft. The cockpit sounds are also very good when starting up the aircraft. Let's now get into the really important stuff, shall we? Which is of course the flight model and system quality. As far as the FMGC goes, it's in a pretty good state for a work in progress aircraft. It does the job well to get you from point A to point B. You can program in your flight plan with practically no issues as far as the routes and sits and starts go. The arrivals and approaches don't always program correctly though. And in its current state, I also can't figure out how to get the V speeds programmed. 
as it won't accept anything I try to input and there's no built-in EFB yet so far so don't count on a performance calculator during your departure the overall quality of the systems is quite good, it does everything I would expect from an Airbus, like change the APU page when you press the start button for example, and things like that. So that makes flying the aircraft pretty immersive, and that's what a lot of us are looking for in flight sim I think. Now let's talk a little bit about the actual flight model. The aircraft still needs some work in this area I feel like. It flies quite well during departures, but during landings the pitch movement feels a little bit forced and not very smooth. Also, ground handling is something that needs a lot of work. If you try to turn this aircraft at any speed above 5 knots and without differential braking, you won't be able to make even a 45 degree turn without going off the taxi line and into the grass. The nose wheel seems to be next to useless as it has very little authority. During takeoff roll though, I think the aircraft is quite controllable, even with crosswinds. It's not too much on the sensitive side, but it's also pretty reactive, which is exactly what you need during a departure. So to summarize this review, I strongly believe this aircraft is worth downloading. If you actually want a complete aircraft, I might recommend waiting a couple of weeks for some new updates, as it lacks quite some features in its current state, like a working VNAV system and performance calculator. And it has some pretty obvious bugs. Thankfully though, None of these bugs are actually game breaking and you can definitely do a flight in this aircraft without much problem. So in the meantime you'll definitely be able to enjoy the aircraft until the developer releases an update. So that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more content from me be sure to subscribe, like and share the video. And comment down below what you would want to see next on the channel. I try my very best to be as open for suggestions as I can possibly be. And once again, thanks to all the people who support the channel. Now to finish off, I still have a little announcement to make. If you're one of the people who tuned in for my first ever live stream a couple of weeks ago, you'll know that I've recently started live streaming on my channel. And if you missed the stream, then be sure to join in next time. We had an absolutely great evening last time. I even encountered a fellow flight simmer along the way who flew alongside us the entire way. It was great and I hope I can welcome even more of you guys in the upcoming streams. For now that will be all for me, take care of yourselves and happy flying, see ya! Five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, one hundred, fifty. 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, 